Hello everyone, my name is Teresa with Perfectly Imperfect Designs. I'm the owner and designer here and tonight I'm going to be making a gnome St. Patrick's Day wreath. So let's get started. Hopefully I put you down far enough. I do not know. Let me get my reading glasses on so I can read comments. Hi Charlene, thank you for joining me again. This is the gnome sign that I made here in my shop. So this will probably be my last St. Patrick's Day wreath. For the ribbons, I'm going to be using the two and a half inch shamrock and hats ribbon along with the one and a half inch um, shamrock and hats ribbon these all my ribbons are cut to 12 inches I'm going to be using one and a half inch black and one and a half inch green I'm going to be doing the woodland ruffle tonight my pipe cleaners that I have on here are, I have 10 on the outside, 8 on the inside. They're approximately 4 inches apart. And like I said, I'm going to be doing the woodland ruffle. I kept the um, mesh anywhere from 28 to 30 inches. And I'm going to be using the green polydeco mesh along with the white and black border stripe mesh and all of them are cut from 28 to 30 inches so I just roll it three or four times on one side clip it turn it around and do the same on the other I like to start on the outside of my ring Stand these up to, against each other. Here in a minute, I will show the sign that we're using for this again. Like I said, my name's Teresa with Perfectly Imperfect Designs. And as you come in, if you'd say your name and where you're from, that would be awesome. I'm just ready for spring. And what I was talking about the other night, it's like some people, you either like, you either dislike gnomes or you love them. And I didn't know at first how I felt about them, but they've kind of grown on me. I even tried to make one and it came out okay. I was trying to make it as a wreath embellishment though. There's so many different ways to make them. I try to keep these ruffles right up against each other. So they stand up. And if you could follow my page, that would be great. Facebook is taking away the like button. So likes will no longer do anybody any good. follows I have 950 something followers and I'm really trying to get to a thousand um, my next goal of course is a thousand so I'm only a little bit away I also have a YouTube um, channel and it is the same perfectly imperfect designs on YouTube now the way I spell perfectly imperfect there is no I it's just perfectly capital M perfect 
designs. And of course, I'm trying to gain subscribers over there too, but if you go over there, you'll be able to see all of my videos that I've made. Hi, Carol. Thank you for joining from California. Boy, I bet you've got some pretty weather there. You're at Perfectly Imperfect Designs. My name's Teresa. I'm the owner and designer here. I'm live on Facebook every Thursday night at 7 o'clock. But today, I just decided to get on here and make this St. Patrick's Day wreath. It's going to be, I think, one of the last ones I'm going to do. My ribbons and my sign are available in my Etsy shop, which is linked below. Again, I'm doing the Woodland Ruffle. My mesh is cut at 28 to 30 inches. Okay, we've got two more pieces of mesh, and we'll move on to the ribbons. That's okay. Okay, I'm going to pull my pipe cleaners up so that I can start adding my ribbons. And then... I'll show you guys my signs that I listed today. How that looks. This is the sign that we're using for tonight's wreath. The three gnomes. The black and green in one. Then these rocks. And the shamrock, I'll put the shamrocks together and the black and green together. My ribbons are cut at 12 inches. And the sign and the ribbons are available in my shop. And I made a great big bow. Whoops. I dropped one. I don't have a lot of embellishments for this wreath, so probably just be. I mean, this the bow is pretty big, so. The mesh, the ribbons, the bow, and the sign. And now I'm going to move on to the inside. So on my next video, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be making an Easter cross. Did you all have give big plans for the weekend to do anything fun? You're wreathing. That is what I love to do, too. Oh, your Sam's had the ribbon. Oh, I'm so jolly. Really? Well, good for you, Carol. I'm glad you got it. Because there's so many people that have not got it. I just hope that the one that's, I say near me, but an hour away from me will have it. Because it will be worth the drive. Oh, good. Good for you. You got to display your crafts. Great. Carol, I love Lori's group too. Thank you, Kendi. See, here I go again. It's not time for that ribbon. You'd think I wouldn't know how to walk and chew gum at the same time because I can't figure to put ribbons on a wreath and talk. It's not that hard. Yeah, Lori's not just my teacher and my mentor. She's my friend. She is a great person. Inside and out. She 
she's really helped me in my life not just with business I mean she's she's been around to know that life isn't always grand for everyone gosh I got all messed up on my ribbon count either that or short one I just don't know yet working right along there's a lot of people on Facebook doing crafts and stuff right now because you can't there's nothing else to do even though even if I did have something else to do I would rather I would rather make wreaths or crafts. Like I said, I like doing all kinds of crafts, not just wreaths. I don't like go all out and decorate my house for St. Patrick's Day because it's just one day. But, um, you know, I do a little bit. And I was able to get those wooden shamrocks from the Dollar Tree. So, and I decorate my house like a shabby chic kind of way. So I painted the shamrocks green just without even really thinking. I thought, well, shamrocks got to be green. Well, I painted it green and I don't like it. You found me from the marathon? Thank you. I will follow you back. I didn't even, I missed out on the Christmas ribbon from there. Because like I said, I, I live, I don't, I live out in the country. And the only store that I have within 45 minutes of me is a Walmart. One. Well, then if you go a little bit farther, you have two. But as far as craft store, or Sam's store or anything like that. I don't. I don't have it. Well, thank you. I just take a pen and curl it around my pipe cleaners. Again, if there's anybody on here that's not following me, just hit push on my picture, whatever you're watching me on, click on it, however you do it. Three dots will come up in the right hand corner and you can choose your notifications from that, whatever you want. Or you can sign up for my email list. The only email that you'll ever get from me is my live notification, letting me know when I'm going live or letting you know about any sales going on in my Etsy shop. Alright guys, now I'm going to get the, I'm going to get my sign ready, and then I'm going to show you the bow. Now I use cable mounts on my signs, never had a problem with them. A lot of people will not use these. They absolutely won't use them, They're, they say they fall off. I do not use these with hot glue, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I use E6000 and they've never fallen off. All right, my sign. Let me figure out which side I want to put it on, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be this one. And let me get the bow. Okay, this is the bow. And while I'm showing it to you, might as well try to fluff it out. And what I do start in the back and pull them where I want them to go. I pretty much have them placed where I want them to go before I tighten up my zip tie all the way. And I just kind of pull the loops forward. And you just put them the way you want them. 
and it really fluffs out into a big bow. Okay, they are. I have this sign here, Happy Tails. This comes in an eight inch round. Happy Easter with the lavender and the Easter bunnies. And the buffalo check Easter bunny with the bow and the different colored Easter eggs. And of course the gnome sign that I'm working with right now. I have those these three in my shop. But like I said, you know, you can also get them at Walmart, any place that sells yarn. Of course, any craft supply store. But I just put it on my pipe cleaner on there. I don't know if you guys can see me. Put my pipe cleaner on there. And I like to put it through my mesh so that my sign has something stable to sit up on. And it's already down through there. It's that easy. Now I know I could take my pipe cleaner, move my mesh out of the way, go through it and tie it to the, the wire frame. Because you never want to just tie your sign to your mesh. You, you tie it down to the wire frame. And then when you get it down there, you just tie them to the frame. I'm going to work on the next two. Turn it this way. Sometimes I've even put a ruffle underneath my sign so that it has something to set up on because nobody wants their sign sagging down inside their wreath. That's why sometimes I'll put a ruffle right here too, but it's doing pretty good holding its own right there. Now, the bow, and usually I put my sign on top, my bow on the bottom. Today, I want to do it different. I'm going to put the bow on the side. Now this, I may just be able to feed down through here. Sometimes I don't, I do want my bow to sink down just a bit. So that it's proportioned with the rest. My one and a half inch ribbon I never dovetail because I, I find that the wires stick out. So I cut them on an angle because I'm going to curl them. Okay, now I'm going to take these and, and curl them up. Just make little ringlets out of them. Alright guys. So this is going to be my last St. Patrick's Day wreath. Let's see if I can back up without tripping over anything. So here it is. Again, please like or like and follow my Facebook page. Click on the notification three dots, select one or whatever you want to select, or subscribe to my email list so that you'll know when I go live. You'll get live notifications and go over to my YouTube channel. It's spelled exactly like it is here. It's perfectly and perfect designs. It's just perfectly capital M perfect there's no I in it designs and you can check out my videos over there as well I'm live on Facebook every Thursday night at 7 and every now and then I'll pop on here and there so I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this have a good rest of your weekend and stay safe and healthy I'll see you later bye bye